Ibrahim Malouf, hello, hello. Welcome to Enrami. It's your first time here. In Enrami, yeah. Yeah. And by the way, your number one track on Enrami is Beirut. Is it? Yes. Human of Beirut. You love this city. I love Beirut and I love my country. I love Lebanon. There's a story behind the track, Beirut. It's just that I was uh, walking in the streets of Beirut when I was uh, 13 years old. It was 1994. And it, it was the first time I was actually seeing the, the, the Beirut at that time. We, you know, um, when I was young, we used to arrive every summer to the airport and directly from the airport to our home and not really passing through the streets of, of Beirut. So uh, that was the first time I uh, lied to my parents and I said I'm going somewhere and I was actually going to Beirut. And I was walking in the streets and I, I was composing this melody. You've been twice to Baalbek already. What makes it different? When you do a concert there, it's not like you're just doing a concert. You're bringing thousands of people in the middle of a place that is historically gigantic. You know, it's, it's something that, it, that goes way beyond what a venue could be. That's why I really love this place. What other things do you like about Lebanon? Let's name, let's mention three things you really love about Lebanon. Food, uh, girls, and, <laughs> and landscape. What about the three things you dislike about your country? <laughs> Sometimes people are rude, lack of organization, and politics. So let's keep it artistic and musical. Yeah. And let me ask you, <laughs> who are the three artists, Lebanese artists, you'd like to collaborate with? I really like El Ras, the rapper, and all the underground scene. You know, it's already my friend with Zed Hamdan and all the work he does. What about singing, Brahim? <laughs> you have a, a good voice. I don't know. I like singing, you know, under the shower. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, I like singing. I like, mostly I like uh, to hear my audience, the people who come to my concerts. I like to hear them sing. You play for your audience and they sing. And they sing. Yeah. The trumpet is not very popular in the Arab world, but it's maybe because you nowhere. yeah you nowhere. you insist on orientalizing on Arabizing your compositions. I'm not uh, insisting. It's part of who I am. You know, it's like if I was a cook, I would put olive oil and zaatar everywhere. <laughs> you know, it's like um, it's part of my culture. I'm not I'm not uh, denying or uh, hiding the fact that I'm Lebanese. Describe in one word, Dalida. Fragile. Sting. It's funny that you say sting. I said fragile. And right he has that. Fragile, maybe. <laughs> no, uh, humble. Mathieu Chedid. Brother. Uncle Son. Monument. Monumental. Now let's go to Brahim and his muses. What did each add to your path? Beirut. Maybe architecture. You were supposed to be an architect. Yeah, I wanted to rebuild Beirut when I was young. What did Miles Davis add to your path? Uh, softness in music. In, not only in music, but softness in general. Paris. All my studies. All, uh, the academic part. The academic, yeah. What did Nassim Malouf add to your path? Every time I, uh, I can, I, I try to I talk about my father because he is the person who taught me everything. Um, trumpets, music, tarab, classical music. I owe him pretty much everything. You know. Ahla wa sahla again. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Any last word you'd like to say? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm glad finally meeting all the team of Anghami. Hi, everyone. <laughs> glad to have you, Brahim Malouf. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you very much.